YouTube. This is Blade Breakdowns here. Today I wanted to talk about um, these cheap flea market out the fronts. As you can see, I have four of them right here. I really like these things if you can get them at the right price. You know, they're not the best quality. I think all four of these are 420C, so um, not the best quality steel by no means, but it can get your foot in the door to out the fronts. Maybe you don't have a lot of money right now. Um, you know, until you can buy a better knife. Now these, these are pretty cool. You can put them on your keychain. They're not really durable. They got a good, good bit of blade wiggle and stuff, but not a bad blade. Now I wouldn't pay too much for these because I'll show you another one I have exactly like this. This green one is broken, mechanism shot in it. And these screws are put in there so tight, I can't even open this thing up to try to fix it. So, you know, I got this for like 15 bucks. I think for 15 bucks, um, it's pretty worth it. You can obviously see the mechanism isn't too good but it's 15 bucks i think if you want a little cheap thing you could show your buddies they probably think it's cool you know it's a cool letter opener it'd be good for that but these other ones i got like these i paid 30 bucks for these this one's got harley davidson on it and a lot of these bigger ones, they all have USA. They're obviously not USA made. They're Chinese out the front. But these are a lot better quality than these little keychain ones. But I wouldn't pay too much more than 30 bucks. I think 30 bucks is a good price range for these. You know, a lot of places, I've been to some flea markets, they want to get like 50 or 75 bucks. I think that's too much for a chinese version pretty much i think you'd be better off to get cobra tech you know just something like that with a warranty because obviously these don't have a warranty so i think at 30 bucks i think um you know if you can get them 25 30 bucks i think these are a good buy this one was 30 bucks also i really like this one right here um it fits my hand really good it's got a good size handle on it the mechanism on this one also is a lot better than this little cheap one and it feels a little bit better than this one too i don't know if it's because they got to put a better spring to push the bigger size blade out of it but this one's a lot better i've carried this one um it don't show too much where it's got a little bit on the clip right here y'all can see that but you know it's not bad it was 30 bucks um i would buy it again for 30 bucks but i wouldn't spend much more than that on it and it's like this one this one's a full size out the front now you can see this one's discolored because i did want to test how good these were and i put this one in water surprisingly i left it out in the elements in water and that's why this is yellow or rust color. I opened this one up. The inside had no rust in it. Um, I was very surprised and it still works even being left out in the weather. So the bigger ones, I paid 40 for this one. I think that's a pretty good price. You can see on the clip right here, it's got some wear and it's also got some wear right here where this clip it'll get loose from the glass breaker and it'll start rubbing it so that's kind of a negative with these things i don't think for 40 bucks it's not a bad knife i would definitely buy it again and also if y'all want to see me torture test all these knives i will do it let me know in the comments um i'll test the glass breaker on these two um i can freeze them put them in water um we can test um the blades on them 
see how sharp we can get them um see how good the mechanism is do some drop test on them um if y'all got some more suggestions you can leave it down in the comments because i can get another one of these easy i'm not attached to none of these because obviously i can go down to my local flea market and get some more of these so just let me know what y'all want to see in the comments and if you got any video suggestions let me know like and subscribe we'll see y'all next time